When did women get the vote in England? Because I'm, I feel oddly tied to women getting the vote in the United States because my mom was born two days before women could first vote in the United States. Wow. And so it's within the lifetime of someone I love that this happened. So yeah. it's a very real thing to me. Yeah. When, when did women get the vote in England? So women, uh, property owning women and women over 30. Property owning women, uh, it was very, they, was, they had lots of caveats. That happened at the end of the war, so 1918. And then it was 1928 where, so you where had to be, all women. Did you have to be married? Yes. You had to be uh, married? No, I think you, could, you were married or you were property owning. Um, okay. So you could be, you know, but over woman of 30. Wealth. Yeah. Because before 30, you know, women are just crazy. <laughs> I just turned 30 and now I feel like I know what I'm doing, so. <laughs> I can have the vote. Well, your, your character's name is Maud, and she's a sort of fictionalized character based on a lot of different women. Yeah. What, what's her experience? She's not sort of a, a, a moneyed woman who is doing this uh, as a good deed. This is very personal to her. What, what's her life? Yeah, so she's um, a working class woman. She works in a laundry in London in Bethnal Green, which is the East End, which is a very poor area of town mm -hmm. um, back then. And, um, and she's pretty apathetic. It was very conventional to believe that women had their place in the home at that time, and she was traditional, and, um, and she doesn't feel engaged with the political system, and, um, and is sort of living with her lot, kind of getting by. And she meets these women, these suffragette women, who inspire her to believe that there's the possibility of a better life out there for her, and that um, gaining the vote could give her the power to have a better life. And so she gets kind of swept up into this big movement. And the, the, the movement faced enormous resistance. It's not just that you can't have it. There was actually yeah. violence against these women, and yeah. they committed a little violence in return. Yeah. So women in England protested, campaigned for the vote very politely for about 50 years. It was this sort of going to the government and petitioning for women to have the vote, and that was sort of swept under the carpet. Would it be all right if you got the vote? Would that be yeah. all right with you? <laughs> Please, sir. <laughs> Can we have the vote? That's my East End accent. Look forward to the film. Very good. Um, <laughs> yes. Um, and, um, and that didn't work. And so Emmeline Pankhurst, and, uh, and supported by lots of other people, some men, some politicians, um, decided that uh, the next step was to sort of start doing stuff. And, and they did a lot of stuff. And they got in a lot of trouble, too. And they got in a lot of trouble, and there was lots of fights with police and riots and blowing up buildings and all sorts of things. Wow, you don't think of these women as blowing up buildings no, to I get mean, the I, vote. I have sort of an idea of a woman sort of politely marching through the streets. Right. And, yeah. I, I learned about suffragettes from watching Mary Poppins. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Vote for women, yeah, exactly. vote for women, vote for women. Yeah. Did, at any point in this film, do you fly? <laughs> No dancing I penguins. I for a flying scene, and they no. denied me. But I do get to run away from a blow, blowing up, you know, blowed up building, and I. Do get you really to... do that like action thing where you just walk toward the camera like yeah. this and don't look back, and it just explodes behind we had you? We the coolest. Like we had a real explosion, and we had a, you know, we had a car and a camera, and we were sort of running from. The... I never get to do stuff like that in films, so I was thrilled. <laughs>